Did you know that plastics account for roughly 50% of the total volume of materials in a car? Polyurethane is the second most used type of plastic, with up to 28 kilograms of it found in light vehicles, from the car seats and the interior of door panels to headliners and dashboards. Making the automotive sector more sustainable is a key priority for the European Union, especially with regard to vehicle production, everyday use, and end-of-life management. A recently published end-of-life vehicles regulation proposal foresees that plastics in new type-approved vehicles must include 25% recycled content. This ambitious objective will require the mobilisation of a variety of solutions alongside mechanically recycled plastics. Introducing more sustainable raw materials, known as feedstocks, in the production of plastic car components is one of the key ways of reducing the carbon footprint of the automotive industry. In order to do that in a transparent, verifiable and third-party certifiable manner, the chemical producers are utilising the mass balance approach. The MBA is a chain of custody model that allows chemical producers to track how much alternative feedstock is used in the production of circular chemicals. The major advantage of this is that it allows for alternative feedstocks to be used in already existing infrastructure, together with the fossil sourced raw materials. As these are impossible to physically separate once inputted in large industrial installations, mass balance accounting is needed to calculate and verify the amount of sustainable content allocated to products. Another benefit of the mass balance approach is that the chemicals used are of virgin grade quality, which makes it easier for car manufacturers, as adaptations and new qualifications are not required. The automotive supply chain has stringent requirements for the materials and parts it uses. The mass balance approach is a vital tool for ensuring the sustainability of the entire sector.